With Indian Arrival Day being celebrated tomorrow, Monday, the National Trust invited the media to take a walk down memory lane at Nelson Island. The island played an important role in the arrival of East Indian indentured laborers to our nation. Cameraman Rajnath Lal was there and Mahalia Joseph Wharton has more. According to the National Archives of Trinidad and Tobago from 1866, Nelson Island was the primary landing immigration and quarantine station for Indian indentured laborers to Trinidad. When a ship docked, indentured laborers underwent a thorough inspection. Their height as well as any body markings such as tattoos and scars would be recorded. If found to have an illness, they were kept at the hospital on the island for treatment. Once well, they were dispatched to their designated estate to begin work. The National Trust of Trinidad and Tobago took the opportunity on Sunday to have a brief period of commemoration with a tour on the island. Minister of Tourism, Culture and the Arts Randall Mitchell said the rich history of Nelson Island makes it a great tourism site. From a tourism perspective, this is extremely important um, for us to showcase and you know, we, we're observing there was excellent tour guiding, um, even the, the participation in the, the, the tabla session. It was extremely immersive. Minister of Planning and Development Penelope Beckles said the tour made her further understand the importance of the facility. We, we want to congratulate the National Trust for the excellent work that you have been doing. We know this island would have been abandoned for some time. Um, the restoration work, we want to really congratulate you. Uh, I'm grateful for the tour and the explanation as it relates to, I mean, the solar panels, um, the desalination, because that's in keeping, of course, with the government's um, 2030 vision in, as it relates to the environment. The National Trust has received donations from organizations like the U.S. Embassy to make some heritage sites like Nelson Island resilient against climate change. Recently, they received a grant of approximately U.S. $200,000 from the U.S. Embassy's Ambassadors Fund for Cultural Preservation. Chargé d'Affaires Chante Moore said the Embassy wanted to give the Trust some assistance in achieving their goal. Because, again, we're concerned about climate change and erosion as a result of sea level rise. So we thought it was very important. And working with the National Trust, it will be the University of Florida, the Craig Group, and obviously, you know, our Embassy working together to make sure that we try to preserve this important and historic cultural heritage site. The use of the desalination and solar power energy systems allow the island to be self-sustaining. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TTT News.